Okay, we're at Kellogg Community College and we're going to show how to use the easy stand strap stand in order to get the patient up. Uh, this is one form of a patient lift. There's a lot of different brands out there, so this is just one um, that you may see out in the clinic. Um, before my patient came, I kind of got an idea of the types of straps to have available. So I pulled out three different straps. We have three different sizes. There's the small, there's the large. And then for her, we're going to use the medium. Most patients um, are, are pretty close to the size of using the medium size stand here for the strap. So I'm going to kind of put this at the small position. Make those short because it's easier to lengthen the straps than it is to shorten them. So I'll have that nearby. I have the stand. Everything's kind of loose so that I can move things where I need to. So hi patient, how are you today? Okay. My name is BJ, I'm from Physical Therapy, and I understand you've been down in your bed a lot lately recovering from your accident. Um, doctor wants us to get you upright, so what we're going to do today is put you in this, uh, it's called the easy stand, and uh, it's going to help kind of hold you into a standing position to kind of get you used to being upright again. It'll be a lot more comfortable for you to do it this way than to try to do it at the side of your bed, and you can do it for a lot longer time. So, um, we're going to wheel you forward here. Before I get it too far forward, I'm going to need to get the foot rests out of the way because I'm going to swing those right out of the way. So here we go ahead and lock the wheel on that side. Okay. And I'm going to just lock your foot down. Well, I'll just take the foot rest right off um, just to get it out of the way again. As we go through this whole process, I'll kind of talk you through. Um, there will be times I might need you to slide a strap underneath you or something, so I'll just kind of describe those as we're going through, okay? So in order to move her forward, I have a couple of choices. If she's able to walk her feet forward as she wheels forward, that's great. If not, I can hold her feet for her, um, or if she can just hold them straight up in front of her, that's great too. So we'll say that you have a hard time holding your feet up, so I will hold those for you. If you want to go ahead and unlock your wheels, and then wheel yourself forward. If I needed to, I could help her wheel forward. Okay. And we want to wheel her forward to the point where her knees are pretty close to touching there. there go. Okay, and then lock up. Okay. Um, the kneecaps, the patient's patella, should be right in the center of, there's a concave part of the knee, um, the knee portion of it here. So I'm going to raise this up just slightly. In order to do that, different models have different types of uh, loosening. This one has just little knobs on it that you turn. So those are both loose. I'm going to raise it up just slightly. I don't think she needs it moved much. And then tighten those down. Other things you can adjust, you can adjust how far forward or backward that is. Um, so that whole knee piece has a little slide that slides in this little slit right here. Um, so I've loosened up this part of it and I could, if I needed to, slide this forward or backward. Okay, It's pretty good where it is, so I'm going to leave it there. If I needed to loosen it more, there's kind of a strange ratcheting thing here. Um, there's a white button that you push, so if I were to try to loosen it, which would be counterclockwise, um, I need to loosen it and then unratchet it, which means I'm going to hold in the white button, turn it around, and then it'll again kind of be in the gear in order to turn it some more. Okay, I'm actually going clockwise there, so I'm taking it, which we want to do anyhow. Okay, so that's pretty tight there. This side. Okay. Um, other adjustments that we have right here, there's a, a lever that you can loosen and that will allow it to raise or lower wherever you need it. Okay. Up in this area, there's another lever. When you loosen that one, okay, that means you can move the whole tray forward and backward. I don't want to need too much here. So you can see how that whole tray can move forward and backward. And it has probably almost 12 inches that you can move it one direction or the other um, for the patient comfort. 
So uh, we'll kind of try it where it is right there and see how that fits. So I'm looking at, you know, an average size patient, um, you know, putting it kind of in the middle areas here. Okay, so patient, what we need to do next is go ahead and get this strap underneath you. So what I'm going to have you do is we're going to put the strap down behind you, and then you have a couple of choices. You can either, um, you know, kind of scooch forward a little bit, put it behind you, and then do a push up and lower your bottom into it, or you can put it behind you and then shift to one side, pull it down, shift to the other side, pull it down. Okay. I want the patient to try to do as much as possible if she's going to use one of these at home. The patient could do this independently. Once you have everything set, um, the patient could do this independently at home. Okay, so I'm going to let you go ahead and place this behind you. Yes, switch forward. And when she does this, what you want is for this to actually hug the bottom. The manufacturer says to put it just below the belt, the belt line. Um, when we did it that way, we found that it tended to be a little bit too high, so I usually tell the students to have it so that it hugs the bottom, the gluteal um, area. look and make sure that the, the main strap is even on both sides. You don't want one side way out here and one side way back here. So we're just looking to see if it's even on both sides. Not the long straps, but the actual um, canvas itself. Pretty good. Okay. At this point, now that she's done shifting all over, it's going to be easiest to attach these to the arms if we remove the arm rests. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and just go back. And then you can see there's a loop here. I'll let you do that side, and I'll do this side. Just attach that loop, and if you need to pull it towards you, you can. Okay. And then there are different sizing areas here. So what you can do is lift this up and put it in the one that's furthest away from you. I think that'll fit you the best. Okay. okay. Um, at this point, we're going to make sure that it's as taut as possible. So on this little strap down here, just pull it, make sure that it's kind of as tight as it'll go. Okay, so you may want to turn that loop around. See how it twisted there? You want to untwist it. I'm just going to loosen it a little bit here. Oops, wrong way. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm just kind of untwisting it here and putting it on, and it's going to be I'll save it for you. Okay, so now I'm going to pull it tight. Okay, so the knees look like they're in a good position. Um, this part right here, the manufacturer says to have this about even with the concave part of the knees, but we've been finding that the patients feel like they're falling backward, so we put that slightly forward. I actually have it lined up with this portion, the flat portion of the knee piece. Um, and that seemed a lot more comfortable for the patient. So we're going to try that with this patient and see how it feels. Okay, now in order to bring yourself up to the standing position, there's a lever right here that you're going to pull, and you're just going to pump yourself up to the standing position. If you get um, part way up and you need to rest, that's fine. It should hold you nice and tight. Okay, so go ahead and start pumping yourself to the upright position. So feel like it's staying in place okay? Yeah. So at this point, she could stop and make sure everything feels comfortable. And if it does, then you can continue on. Your other hand, if you want to put it up here, wherever it's comfortable for you. The lever can be turned over to the other side. So I switched over to the other side if the patient needs it on the other side. Um, so that's very adjustable as well. Now at this point, I would check with the patient, does this need to be higher or lower at all? I think it's okay. It's good there. And then how about forward and backward? Is it comfortable there? Mm -hmm. okay. So as she's doing things, she could have her hands right up here to, to rest on it if she needed to. Um, it's, you can see where it's hugging her bottom. The very last step of the getting in the upright position is to push down on this hook on both sides. And that's just going to kind of lower this to make it a nice straight pull. So if I can give you push on both of those right in this area. And that just kind of, it doesn't lock down into a ratcheted position, but you can see how that makes it a nice flat pull 
in that direction to pull her forward. When we're done, we should have a three-point pressure on her, pressure here and here, and then opposing pressure in the middle. Okay, how's that feel? That's good. So she could stay in that position for as long as you feel that uh, would be appropriate for that patient. Some patients maybe only five minutes, other patients maybe 20 or 30 minutes. Okay, once she's been up for a while, we're ready to come back down. To come back down, this is a little awkward where they have this, but it still works. What you're gonna do is you're gonna push this away from you and it's gonna lower you down. Okay, so I'll go ahead and start doing that. I'll be here in case you need me. And you don't have to pump this time, just hold it. You may need to lean forward as you go. Some patients prefer to switch their hand to the inside once they get to a certain point. It's whatever's comfortable for you there. Okay, and then we'll just undo the hooks. And again, if you bring it down closer to you there, it's easier to unhook. And then before you start shifting side to side, let's go ahead and bring these armrests back. And that one just locks in. Yep. Okay. And go ahead and shift that up from under you. Okay. So that's the use of the easy stand, step stand, um, a patient lift, and you can use that to move the patient over to the bed or to a different chair to sit into as well. Um, so you can use it to move patients from one surface to another as well. Yeah. All right, good job.